The Magic Paint Brush by Julia Donaldson. Here is Shen on the seashore painting pictures in the sand. Go and catch some shrimps, Shen. Go and catch some fish. Go and gather oysters to fill the empty dish. Shen sits on the seashore. A stick is in her hand. She sits there drawing pictures, pictures in the sand. She draws a flower, a flying fish. She draws a boat at sea, a hen, a hare, her dancing dog, her weeping willow tree. Now you can see all her pictures. Who does she meet with here? The waves roll in and wash away the pictures in the sand. But on a rock there sits a man, a bush. A brush is in his hand. He looks around. He calls to Shen. Come here, he whispers. Hush. We don't want all the world to know about this magic brush. He slips the brush into her hand and tells her to be sure never to paint for wealthy folk, but only for the poor. You can see here, Shen has returned home to her family. Did you catch some shrimps, Shen? Did you catch some fish? Did you gather oysters to fill the empty dish? No shrimps, no fish, no oysters. Shen laughs and runs inside. She paints a pot, then stands and waits until the paint has dried. Mum doesn't look very pleased. And obviously your mum seems to be very pleased here. The paint dries on the paper. Painting of the pot is not a painting anymore, but real and steaming hot. The pot is full of shrimps, Shen. The pot is full of fish. The pot is full of oysters to fill the empty dish. The village people hear the news. Into the house they crush. The young and old all want to see Shen and her magic brush. There you see them all wanting to get into the house. So you can see the whole villagers seem to be very happy and queuing up at the door to the house. 
she paints a melon for a boy, a ladder for a man, a basket for a woman, and for a girl a fan. And soon the news spreads far and wide, and people stand in queues for blankets, boats, and buffaloes, for hats and coats and shoes. The news spreads over fields of rice and over desert sands until at last inside Shen's house the powerful emperor stands. I order you to paint a tree and make it very big. Instead of leaves, paint golden coins, a hundred on each twig. Shen shakes her head. Your Majesty, I promised to be sure never to paint for wealthy folk but only for the poor. The emperor scowls and stamps his foot. He bellows to his men, seize the magic paintbrush and seize the girl called Shen. Clearly here she's sitting in prison on a cold floor. Now Shen sits in a prison upon a cold stone floor. She waits there till the emperor opens the prison door. He holds the magic paintbrush. He orders, paint that tree. Paint me my tree of golden coins, and then you shall go free. Shen takes the brush, and bowing low, says, Gracious Majesty, come back here in the morning and you shall have your tree. That night the Emperor lies in bed and dreams about his tree while Shen is busy painting a horse and then a key. The key turns in the prison door and Shen stands free outside. She climbs onto the horse's back and swiftly starts to ride. Where are my coins? The Emperor shouts. Where is my golden tree? Where is the magic brush, he cries, who let the girl go free? 
he climbs onto his fastest horse. He rides with all his men. Over the fields and desert sands, they gallop after Shen. It's Shen, it's Shen, she's back again. The neighbours gather round, but Shen is painting silently, while distant hoof beats sound. She paints a mighty river, a river deep and wide. The emperor and all his men stop on the other side the emperor scowls and stamps his foot he shakes his fist at shen i'll swim across your river and so will all my men here you can actually see shen painting the river And clearly the men don't feel that confident swimming across the very big river. But Shen is busy painting a beast with scales and claws. Its scarlet wings are open and flames curl from its jaws. My dragon needs a tail, says Shen. And then it will be real. Yes, then it will be roaring and ready for a meal. Now shall I paint that tale, she asks. Or would you rather go? She dips her brush into the pot. The Emperor cries out, no. He turns his horse and rides away. Away ride all his men. Shen takes the magic paintbrush and starts to paint again. There's the dragon, a fearsome looking dragon that frightens the emperor. And what do we have here? A full moon, flutes, drums, dancing in the street. She paints a mound of golden rice and cakes like little moons and drums and flutes till all the street ring out with merry tunes. The sun goes down, the moon comes out, and shines as bright as day, while Shen and all the villagers dance the night away. So, an absolutely gorgeous little tail. As you can see, a very successful ending. We we'll just quickly flick to the front the magic paint brush, Charivna, Charivni Penzel Tomolovna. I think that's what paint brush means. And here we have Shen sitting by the seashore painting go and catch some some shrimps shen ide is love krevetke shen go and catch some fish ide is love rybke go and gather oysters ide is love 
ostrici to fill the empty dish of Naponipi Porojnu Tariuku. She sits on the seashore. Shen Sidet Pre Krayu Moria. A stick is in her hand. Palachka Vihiruchi. She sits there drawing pictures. Unatam Sidet Irisue Malunke. Pictures in the sand. Malunkev Pisku. She draws a flower. Rasuye Kvitku. A flying fish. Reba Ritayuchi Rebu. She draws a boat at sea. Irisuye Chuvan Namoryu. A hen. Kurku. A hare. Zaicha. A dancing dog. Subaku Shotanchuye. A weeping willow tree. Iplakuchu Ferbu. The waves roll in. Chveli kotetsha na berich and wash away vilayut the pictures in the sand resunkiv pisku. But on a rock there sits a man. Ale na kameni sidet muschina. A brush is in his hand. Pencil ye jeho ruci. He looks around. Podivet sha na vkolo sebe. He calls to Shen, Klitsche Donayi, come here, Hode Shude. He whispers, Prosheptau, Hush Dehenko. We don't want all the world to know, Minakochimo, Chile Schwitzschubs now, about this magic brush, Prodsei Charivn tu Charivne Penzel. He slips the brush into her hands. He soon it pencil vii dolonyu and tells her to be sure i but pevna never nicole to paint shu maluate for wealthy folk la bahate chludei but only for the poor tilke la bidne pasu mama ne duje zadvolna shen ni chohne zluvela bude sami res na vecherio did you catch some shrimps, Shen? Chit is Lulilla, the kish crevet kill. Shen? Did you catch some fish? Chit is Lulilla rebe. Did you gather oysters? Chit in as barala ustrici. To fill the empty dish? Shubna ponete porojnu tarilku. No shrimps. Nama crevet kill. No fish. Nama rebu. No oysters. Nema ustrichil. Shen laughs. Shmiet shov Shen. He runs inside. If bihilav khatu. She paints a pot. Namaluvala horshok. And then stands to the street and waits. Jakaya. Until the paint has dried as pocket farbond veshua. on the paper farba vesuchla na paperi the painting of the pot imalunok horshka is not a painting anymore it on malunok ne yevje prosto malunok but real a disney and steaming hot ihoriachi sparu the pot is full of shrimps shen horshok ye pono krevetkiu shen the pot is full of fish, ipovno rebe. The pot is full of oysters, ipovno povno ustrici. To fill the empty dish, ipovnaya povno horschok. The village people hear the news, selenene chuyut tinuene, and into the house they crush, if behind vchatu. The young, moldi, and old, istari, all want. To see Shen, she hoch batch the Shen, e ye ye charivnu 
чарівний пензель. Як вони всі заглядають. Шен пейнтс а мелон фо де бой. Ші пейнтс, вона малює а мелон деню для хлопча. A ladder for a man, drabinu dla moschene, a basket, koshek, for a woman, dla jinke, and for a girl, dla divchene, a fan. Fanat. And soon the news spreads far and wide. I v korotkim časi novene pošerjajče daleko i široko. And people stand in queues, i ludi stojat v čirži, for blankets, za kocami, za korablami, boats and buffaloes. Boj vole. For hats, za šapkami, and coats and shoes, i plaščami, i meštami. The news spreads over fields of rice. Novene pošerjajča čeres polja de reš roste. And over desert sands i piske pustenji. Until at last, na rešči v kinči, inside Shen's house, v sredeni v jihati, the powerful emperor stands. Potužnej Imperator stojit. I order you, nakazuju tobi, to paint a tree na maluj dervo and make it very big. I zrubeš, by to dervo bolo duže veleke. Instead of leaves, zamiš lešča, paint golden coins, maluj zoloti monete. A hundred on each twig, i sto na kožnu hilku. Shens shakes her head. Machayo holovoyu. Your Majesty. Veliches, veličenstvo. Ja obichala. I promised to be sure bote virnuyu. Never, Nikola, to paint. Shob maluvate. For wealthy folk. La bahatech bledei. But only for the poor. Tiket la bidnech. The emperor, imperator, scowls, chmuritsha, and stamps his foot. Tupka ye nohoyu, he bellows to his men. Hučno holosit do svojich čolovikiu, lapajte, seize the magic paintbrush, čarivni penzel. And sees the girl called Shen. He lapinted to Divchimu, who was a white Shen. Now Shen sits in a prison. The pen Shen sedet turmi vyaznechi upon a cold stone floor, na cholodnim kamienim pitloji. She waits there, itam chikaya, until the emperor, as poke imperator, otvorit, opens the prison door, dveri vjaznici. He holds the magic paintbrush, fin v rukach maje, čarivni pencil. He orders, paint that tree, na maluj to dervo, paint me, my tree, pomaluj moje dervo, Zolotich monetiu, and then you shall go free. A tudi, te možeš, budeš vilna i te. Shen takes the brush, but a pencil, and bowing low, ich nishko hilaitša, says, kaže, gracious majesty, milostivi, veličinstvo, Come back here in the morning, Vrnitsha Vrano, Tut. And you, Ive, shall have your tree, Budete Mate, 
vaše darmo. The night the emperor lies in bed. Chunich Imperator leżał w liśku i dreams z imriał about his tree po swoje derwo while Shen is busy painting. A Shen nie duży zaniata maluje. A horse, konia, and then a key, a to the klucz. The key turns in the prison door. Klucz. Obertajcia w dwerjach wiaznici. And Shen stands free. I Shen stoi dwil na. Outside na dwori. She climbs, wylazet, onto the horse's back. Na spinu konia. And swiftly, świdenko, starts to ride. Zaczynaje jechate. Where are my coins? De moi monete. The emperor shouts. Krechet imperator. Where? There is my golden tree. De mi zolotei. Zolote dervo. Where is the magic paintbrush? De charivni pencil. He cries. Krechet. Who let the girl go free? Kto vypustil detenu? Dilchinu na swobodu. He climbs onto his fastest horse. Vin velis na svi na švitši kiny. And rides with all his men. He yides vshima svojeme čulovikame. Over the fields, čeres polja, and desert sands, i piskovati pustenji. They gallop, halop, zašen. It's Shen, it's Shen. To Shen, to Shen. She's back. Una povrulasha. Again, it's novel. The neighbors, Sushida, gather round Schodjatsha. But Shen is painting silently. Ale Shen maluje de Hesenko. Whilst distant hoof beats sound. Pichas zvuk. Dale, dalekich kinskich kopet. She paints a mighty river. Maluje velecheznu riku. A river deep, hluboku and wide, shiroku. The emperor, imperator, and all his men, if she ho muschene cholvike, stop, zupenaitsha. On the other side, na druhi storni, the emperor scowls, the imperator scowls, excuses, scowls, and stamps his foot, he topkaes svoje nohoju, he shakes his fist at Shen, he kolokom machaje na Shen. I'll swim, ya poplanu, across your river, cheres tvoi ruku, and so will all my men, i tež vši moji muščene. But Shen is busy painting, ale Shen, Zanyata, maluje. A beast, zvir. Z luskoju, scales, i claws, nichtjame. Its scarlet wings, červonime krelame, are open, otvoreni, and flames curl from its jaw. I polumini, zavertajuća, z jeho 
szczelepy. My dragon needs a tail. Mi dragon potrzebuje chwosta. Says Shen, Kaza Shen. And then, i to di, it will be real. Wono bude disne. Yes, tak. Then it will be roaring. To di, wono bude revite. And ready, i hotove, for a meal na yizhu. Now shall I paint that tail? No. She at the permayo na moluat toho chvosta. She asks, wona pitaye. Or would you rather go? Chibve ne chutilib vidite. She dips her brush into the pot. Imachaye pencil for shchok. The emperor cries out, no. E emperator vikrik no ni. He turns his horse, povernu sweho konya, and rides away, i vidizdaye. Away ride all his men, i vidizdayut vshi yoho cholovike. Shen takes the magic paintbrush. Shen bere charivne pencil and starts to paint again. I sheras maluye. A mould of mound of golden rice. Imaluye Kruhan Sotoresu and cakes like little moons. Itorte tag malenki mishechi and drums and flutes. I bubni i fluite till all the street. Ashpokiv shavulacha hude rings. Out with merry tunes, veselime melodiume. The sun goes down, i sonce zaide. The moon comes out, i misha and shines as bright as day, i sweetet tak jasno jak deng, while shen and all the villagers, if she selenene, dance the night away. Tanchuyut. Shunich.